okay hi guys so in this lecture we'll be taking on some of the examples of the calculation of total number of stereoisomers of the compounds okay so let's get started so you have to find okay first let me write uh, the question so find total number of stereoisomers of this given compound stereo isomers okay so the first example is find the total number of stereoisomers in this compound so as you know it's a symmetric compound here is its plane of symmetry and it is having even number of chiral centers and the hence the formula would be total number of stereoisomers would be 2 to the power n minus 1 plus 2 to the power n by 2 minus 1 in which 2 to the power n minus 1 are number of active optically active and 2 to the power n by 2 minus 1 are the meso compounds so n here is 2 so this will be 2 to the power 1 plus 1 sorry 2 by 2 minus 1 so the total answer would be 3 okay uh, let us let us do for this compound we have something like this so again it is having the formula goes on like this because it is having even number of chiral centers hence this is would be active this would be meso and hence the answer would come again to be 3 what are the total number of stereoisomers for this again we have a plane of symmetry hence total number of stereoisomers would be using this formula and why because it is having even number of chiral centers okay let us look at this example where we have substituted one chloro and one bromo so it does not have any plane of symmetry so it is an unsymmetrical so as it is unsymmetrical we have total number of stereoisomers as 2 to the power number of chiral centers so in this case 2 to the power 2 which gives me the answer 4 okay let's calculate for this compound uh, we have 2, 3 dichloro butane so in 2, 2 3 dichloro butane we have to calculate total number of stereoisomers so in 2 3 dichloro butane we have drawn the structure for it you know there uh, is there in any center of symmetry uh, i think yes there is center of symmetry so in this case the total number of stereo isomers would be oh stereo isomers would be 2 to the power n minus 1 plus 2 to the power n by 2 minus 1 which gives the answer 3 okay now let's calculate for this compound we have something like this okay we have okay so for this compound um, as you can see this is not a chiral center only this is a chiral center so there will be only 2 to the power 1 chiral center the total number of stereoisomers would be 1 let's draw for uh, let, let's see for this compound so for this compound we would have CH3 and CS3 okay so for this compound we'd, we would be having uh, you know total number of stereoisomers for this compound would be total number of chiral centers total number of chiral centers are uh, S2 so so now the question is can uh, the compound ever be symmetrical yes so total number of isomers in that case would then be you know 2 plus 1 that is 3 in which 2 are in isomers and 1 is meso so uh, 
the formula would be applicable uh, for the compound is symmetrical and it has two curl centers okay let's see this example so let's suppose we have this so how many curl centers are there three it is unsymmetrical doesn't have any pos us so why in this case we had only three because this had a cos okay let us continue for seeing the total number of isomers for this compound uh, we have cf3 ch double bond ch ch double bond c double bond ch single bond yeah so this is the compound so total how many no, total number of stereogenic areas are there in this compound one two uh three okay so do we have any pos cos in this compound no so two to the power three would be the answer the answer would be eight okay so with this we end our lecture and in the next lecture we'll be seeing more number of uh, examples so till then good luck and goodbye